In this video, I'm going to take a look at the reactions of acids and bases. So we'll start with the reaction between acids and alkalis. And as a reminder, alkalis are metal hydroxide or aqueous ammonia. So in general terms, an acid and an alkali will react together to make a salt and water. So a specific example of that is this one here. So hydrochloric acid plus the alkali sodium hydroxide will make the salt sodium chloride and water. What I'm going to do now is break the equation down so that I can generate the ionic equation. So what I'm doing here is I'm showing the HCl essentially in its true form. It doesn't occur as a single entity HCl. It actually dissociates into its ions. So instead of having this HCl molecule, we would have aqueous H plus ions and aqueous Cl minus ions, completely separate. The same goes for the sodium hydroxide and likewise for sodium chloride. This is aqueous, so this will completely dissociate into the water and water exists as water molecules, not as ions, and so we keep it as H2O. So just like in a mathematical equation, when you have like terms on both sides of the equal sign, in this case we've got the arrow, so we've got Na plus left and right, so they would cancel out because essentially they're not changing, and so too with the chloride ions. So what we're left with is this equation here. So this is actually what we call the ionic equation for this reaction. And essentially it just shows what is changing. If we look at the aqueous ammonia reaction now, so again, it's acid plus alkali. Remember, aqueous ammonia is an alkali. Acid plus alkali makes salt and water. So in this case, we're getting the salt ammonium chloride and water. And a reminder that when you put ammonia in water, remember ammonia is a base, it'll accept an H plus proton from the water and become the NH4 plus ion and the OH minus ion. So when you've got aqueous ammonia, you've actually got ammonium hydroxide because of these two ions being present. So when you react HCl, hydrochloric acid, with ammonium hydroxide, you're going to get the salt, ammonium chloride, and H2O. So again, if we show the ions present, we get this long equation here. So H plus and Cl minus aqueous from the acid, the NH4 plus and OH minus ions from the alkali. The salt would contain these ions here. And again, just as before, the water is shown as H2O. And we're going to cancel what we can. Chloride ions cancel. Ammonium ions cancel. And we're left with the same equation as before. H plus plus OH minus gives H2O. So effectively, this is the ionic equation for this reaction. Because this is what's changed. So if we now look at the reaction of acids with metal oxides, again, general reaction, acid plus metal oxide makes salt and water. And the example I'm using here is nitric acid with magnesium oxide, making the salt magnesium nitrate and water. So again, we're going to, where possible, identify all the ions present. So we've got these ions present in those in the two HNO3. So we've got two H plus ions, two nitrate ions. The magnesium oxide, because it is occurring as the solid, this would be a single substance. So it wouldn't be separated into its ions. They're held together in the lattice. So we have to keep it 
like this. However, when it forms the aqueous salt, these would separate out, dissociate into the separate ions. We show them now, and again water H2O. Cancel what we can, leaves us with this ionic equation here. So if we move on to the reaction between acids and metal carbonates now. The general reaction is this one here, acid plus metal carbonate makes salt, water and carbon dioxide. And the example I'm going to use is this one here. So sulfuric acid now plus calcium carbonate solid makes calcium sulfate, water and CO2. So again, showing ions where possible. So we've got two H plus aqueous ions in the acid and a sulfate ion, SO42 minus. Notice the state symbol here for the calcium carbonate is solid. So this is a single substance. It's not separated into its ions. So it stays as CaCO3. However, aqueous calcium sulfate, so we show the ions present now. Water stays as H2O. And obviously carbon dioxide is not made of ions, so it stays as CO2. What can we cancel? We can cancel the sulfate ions. And that's it. So we're left with the 2H plus ions reacting with the calcium carbonate solid. And they would generate the calcium 2 plus ion, water and CO2. Acids with metals now, so this is the last reaction we're going to look at. The general reaction is acid plus metal makes salt and hydrogen. Here's my example. Hydrochloric acid plus magnesium makes magnesium chloride, salt and hydrogen, H2. And again, showing the ions, 2H plus and 2Cl minus ions from the acid. Magnesium, obviously, the metal isn't doesn't exist as ions, so we show it as Mg. The aqueous salt, yes, ions, we show those. And H2, covalent molecule, so no ions there. What can we cancel? We can cancel the two chloride ions, which leaves us with that. So we've talked a lot about salts. What is a salt? Well, a salt is defined as a substance formed when the H plus ion of an acid is replaced by a metal ion or an ammonium ion. We'll finish with this. So which salt will you make? Well, if you use hydrochloric acid, you would make a chloride salt. If you use nitric acid, you would make a nitrate salt. And if you use sulfuric acid, you make sulfate salts.